What's up my fellow RPG family and today I want to showcase my OP Venomancer build. This build revolves around using Prismatic Flurry skill with Scourge Outbreak Blast Enchantment to do some crazy burst decay damage. Now originally I wanted to make a poison build but it grew into something else because there aren't a lot of poison stacking abilities in this game. And also I wanted to make this build to showcase the blast enchantment scourge outbreak because I've never used it before and I wanted to show it off. So we spend our first breakthrough point at the Kazat spell blade. Secondly we'll go to the Cabal Hermit and we will get the breakthrough point there. And then lastly I prefer to use the speedster for prime but feel free to try another trainer with your last breakthrough point. Our weapon choice will be the Virgin Fists with our Scourge Outbreak Decay Blast Enchantment. So this creates an AoE blast whenever you land a hit and stacks really well with Prismatic Flurry. And our armor choice for this build will be anything that can boost our decay damage. So we will craft the full set of horror gear because each piece boosts decay damage. And if you're not sure how to craft it, check out my horror hunter bow build for the full details. And I just personally prefer the Buzu backpack for not affecting my rolling and the added corruption resistance. Also, don't forget to grab some spiked alertness potions for prime and grab some dark varnish for the elemental discharge skill we'll be using. And then of course, let's enchant our fists with the scourge outbreak. You can get everything you need from Ryan the Arcanist in the Sorborians Academy. Okay, so with your skills, make sure you have all five elemental boons. You can also add focus for increased damage, but it's not 100% required. So to maximize Prismatic Flurry, make sure you have your five boons active and add Dark Varnish to your weapon so you can use Elemental Discharge before you enter into melee range. So Prime has a bit of a long cooldown and I only recommend using it when you know there is a tough boss or a tough fight coming up ahead. And if you didn't know by now, Prime allows you to cast Prismatic Flurry twice in a row and that's basically an instant death for most mobs. So this is my fourth version of the Prismatic Flurry build, with each doing its own type of elemental damage depending on your preferred playstyle. So to conclude, this build uses a decay variation of the Prismatic Flurry skill. It uses Scourge Outbreak, Blast Enchantment and also uses a ranged elemental attack called Elemental Discharge. And it can also one shot most weaker mobs like bandits. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it or learned something, do me a solid and click that like button, it really helps my channel, I'd really appreciate it. And if you like builds like this and want to see more, click the subscribe button for further content like this. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.